The evaluation report of the U.S. intelligence officials shows that Iran will not directly attack Israel in response to the killing of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps commander in Damascus. CNN reported this with reference to two U.S. intelligence sources. IT was reported that Tehran demanded the proxy forces in the region to organize large-scale attacks against Israel by using anti-aircraft missiles and rockets. Preliminary preparations for the attack have been given to Iranian proxy groups and they are waiting for the right time. If Tehran takes direct action against Israel, it does not want to give the USA and its allies an excuse to attack its territory because it is afraid of the escalation of the conflict in the region, the report said. It should be noted that the possible time for these forces to attack Israel was mentioned as the current week many regional countries would like to see Iran directly involved in a war with Israel, because it will inflict great damage on the country, two commentators told the media in Tehran. Government-controlled media in Tehran has been abuzz with bellicose statements by some officials and at the same time warnings of remaining cool-headed by many pundits, following Israel's April 1 airstrike. That killed seven Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps officers in the Iranian embassy in Damascus, the leadership of the Islamic Republic, and particularly Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei face a challenging political dilemma, launch a forceful retaliatory attack and risk a wider war possibly involving the United States, or exercise restraint and look for less dramatic alternatives. However, Tehran's proxies around the region, its domestic supporters, and even ordinary Iranians opposed to the government, might see any hesitation as a sign of weakness. Iran has pledged retaliation for Israel's deadly attack on its diplomatic mission in Syria's Damascus city. A senior Iranian official, Yahya Rahim Safavi, an advisor to Iran's supreme leader has said that none of Israel's embassies were safe anymore, Iran's Tazneem news agency reported on Sunday. Yahya Rahim Safavi made the remarks following a suspected Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus on April 1 that killed at least seven officials including Mohammad Reza Zahidi, a top commander in Iran's elite Revolutionary Guards IRGC, and senior commander Mohammad Hadi Haji Rahimi. Mohammad Bagheri, chief of staff of Iran's armed forces in a speech on Saturday threatened the harshest possible response to Israel in retaliation for the attack on its diplomatic mission in Syria. We have learned from Qasem Soleimani that we determine the time and type of operation, he said, adding that Israel will regret attacking Iranian diplomatic building. In response to these threats, Israel's defense minister Yov Gallant said on Sunday that his country was ready to handle any scenario that may arise with Iran. Meanwhile, Jada Iran reported on Sunday, citing an anonymous diplomatic source that Iran has informed the U.S. it would refrain from responding to the Israeli attack if a ceasefire in Gaza is reached. The source added that if America succeeds in containing the situation, it will be a great success for the Biden administration and we can build on that. Iran's supreme leader Khamenei had earlier pledged retaliation after the attack in Damascus, vowing that Israel would be punished by the hands of our courageous men. Ukraine's military intelligence has claimed that it set fire to the Russian missile ship Serpukov in Russia's Kaliningrad region on April 8. An unnamed source within the Ukraine's military intelligence told local media that its operatives were behind the fire in Serpukov. It was the first such attack on Russian naval assets in the Baltic Sea. The ship has sustained heavy damage as a result of the attack. The source said information about victims was being clarified, but the ship itself was not well. Repairs will take a long time, the source said. Serpukov is a Project 21631 by an M small missile ship, the fifth ship in the series. Serpukov was burning at the Baltiysk naval base in Russia's western region of Kaliningrad. It should be noted that earlier, Ukrainian Magura V-5 naval drones hit and heavily damaged the Russian Project 22160 patrol ship Sergei Kotov near the Kerch Strait on the night of March 5. Since launching its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia has lost many ships, including those of the Black Sea Fleet. Recently, the Ukrainian military attacked large landing ships in Crimea, Yamal and Azov.